boys, the boys, the boys. How we doing? Good to speak to you. I've had a couple of days off. It's been lovely. I've been traveling a few sites, seeing the views. It's been 40 degree heat. I've been sweating like Jimmy Savile on a school bus. Perspirating like when you see your crush in the high school and you're getting changed and she, you know she can see you. So, you know, you tense your pecs and five sit-ups you did this morning before breakfast, hoping they've come through. But I'm back, baby. I'm back. And boy, have we got some drama. Drama alert nation level stuff. Game of Thrones level banter. Who are you looking at? you might ask well this is apparently a man called florida joker now uh, apparently florida is quite a crazy state of uh, affairs full of absolute nutters and crazy people now obviously gta rockstar loved and renowned for taking the piss out of people rightly so if you decide to put a cross on your face i think it completely goes against the whole point of religion and tattoos personally i don't think jesus would want you to have a tattoo looking like that but you know i'm not one to judge you look cool question mark but what i will judge is your attitude to life your the way you come out about it so obviously rockstar i'm making a new game gta 6 we're all very excited we all have a lot of stiffies in our pantaroonies and we cannot wait to get our dirty grubby little prepubescent mitts on them so what are we doing about it well waiting patiently but what's this bloke doing well he is hey <laughs> he's suing rockstar because he thinks he's got a brain we'll play the clip but he's basically going to be trying two million now as soon as i saw this clip i was absolutely baffled i thought maybe he's joking did you get it did you get it? Rockstar have given you a platform. You are known to be in this game now. You've gone viral. Make a few TikToks, mate. Make a brand. Make a YouTube channel. Make a career. Get a manager. Do all that stuff. Do all what these other. Don't pretend you're going to sue Rockstar for using your likeliness. Rockstar are lawyered up to their nutsacks and have so much money, you wouldn't even be able to add all the noughts on properly because you're that thick. And I'm only having a guess because of your tattoos, by the way. So I am being very stereotypical. But we're going to play it. I want the man to give us an explanation as to why he thinks he deserves 2 million, 20 million, I can't remember. Everybody's saying that I'm hallucinating, that I'm not the Joker from GTA 6. Firstly, bro, you are hallucinating, man. You've done too much lean and you need to brush your teeth and get rid of those tattoos because you are sniffing gear and off the fucking tear, baby. Chew out your goddamn nuggets. That's me. That's the person that got the inspiration from. You see that? That, that's me. That's me. That's me. GTA, we, we gotta talk, GTA. We gotta talk. Or not, you gotta give me like a meal or two. So what's up? Holler at me, GTA, Rockstar Entertainment. You gotta give me a mil or two, Rockstar Entertainment. What a load of nonsense. Firstly, they can use your likeliness, I'm pretty sure. You don't own what you look like in a world like this. Yes, if they steal something from you, you can claim money or what have you, whatever. I get that. However, they are simply taking the piss out of you. And you by doing this is clearly what they are wanting. They are after pulls, clicks, views, all that good stuff and trying to make a scene and cause a bit of a, uh, a story, shall we say, around the game. Florida is the home, the place that they're basing this game off and you my friend are called the Florida Joker so they are taking the mick out of you you then to think yeah bro you owe me a mill or two bro you owe me a mill or two bro give me my money is ridiculous bro like I said you should be using your brain and obviously you clearly don't have anything in between there other than tattoos and brain damage by the look of it but you should be absolutely on this bandwagon to say well GTA 6 is hype right now I'm gonna make a few TikToks make up a bit of a following make a few stage appearances make a few monies myself and then I don't need Rockstar to give me a mill or two that's what a smart intelligent human being normal human being will probably do and look i know it's a sad state of affairs as to what the world's in but you gotta you gotta adapt around your uh, adapt around to your surroundings rockstar aren't gonna give you shit dog i dare you to go after them it would be actually kind of hilarious to see you in a suit and tie rockstar games rockstar enterprise florida joke ain't having that y'all took my likeness y'all took my life Everybody's saying Took my life bro You were doing nothing And doing sweet FA Before Rockstar showed up I mean I'm looking at his Appearance And yeah there's There's, there's definitely Very very similar Features shall we say Between you and him But I, I I just think You know They're taking the piss out of you And by doing this You're you're embarrassing yourself further I truthfully just think You should have made A bit of money off the hype And enjoyed it You know Rockstar know what they're doing here They've done it for years And years and years And they've got away with it 
But Roger Clark, the legend, the absolute beast behind the voice of Arthur Morgan, one of my favourite video, one of my favourite characters of all time, never mind in video games. He has come out and responded to the man. I thought he was Joker. He's got a Batman tattoo. What the fuck? That's a... Anyway, so the dude with the bad tattoos and the colourful hair is uh, obviously trying to get, uh, cause a bit of a scene and make a bit of money from Rockstar. Roger Clark, the legend, the man, the myth, the legend, has come out and responded. No, you don't. You don't need to talk to them. They're not going to talk to you. They've had people like you trying to sue them for decades. They are lawyered up, man. They know exactly what they can and cannot get away with. If I were you, I would use the notoriety. Absolutely. See, he is speaking truth. Rockstar, uh, one of the richest game companies probably in the world, and they release a game like every 12 years. They do not need to give you anything. What you should have done, if I was him, I would have honestly just said, look, that's fine, you can use it, but come on, throw me in the game. Let me be in the game. Let me voice the person that I am. Let me do this part or something like that. You know what I mean? Something like that. Or create a, a few TikToks, get a bit of cash, you donkey. That they just threw your way to my advantage. Capitalize it on it somehow. Exactly. And getting a job in Home Depot with that face. <laughs> You are getting a job at Home Depot. He couldn't be more factually or stability correct. GTA took my life. Obviously, this guy is a bit deluded. All due respect to him, um, I I'm sure he's probably an interesting guy to have a conversation with, but he's clearly not all there in the brain, mate. As Roger said, and I'm not even kidding, I didn't watch that clip. I just know he responded and apparently it was good. I truthfully agree with Roger, though, completely. You should be riding this bandwagon, bro. GTA 6 hype is real. Everyone's excited for it. Everyone loves a quick 15-second clip clip of making the mic you should be on this right now and saying look this is me come come watch my videos saying that gta 6 took your life is just drama queen deluded and shows you've not got much in terms of a brain capacity or a skill set to turn this into something successful obviously yes you look similar mate I'm gang joker gang 305 ross people live for everybody saying that i'm hallucinating <laughs> i'm hallucinating bro you ain't hallucinating dog you're right it does look similar, but GTA Rockstar, they know what they're doing. They love this stuff. They're taking the mick, and you should be all over this saying, yeah, it's me, boys. And watch it out if you want to see it in person. <laughs> look look at that. Mill Eon or two, in case you couldn't work what a, a, a Mill was, and he meant. Thank you, Vicky. I just wanted to have a quick commentating on this, though. GTA 6 took my life. It, this guy's clearly not all there in terms of what he actually thinks is going to happen. I, I, I think this guy's going to be a stranger in Freak's mission, and I cannot wait to take part in it. Obviously, at the end, I'm going to blow him up with a bit of c4 send it to the dude and make a tiktok and see how he likes about it and say this is what happens to you when you uh smack shit on rockstar because we're all got their backs don't we we're all absolutely devoted fans who pray to rockstar and whoever owns it these days every evening hoping for the next red dead 3 gta 6 all to come out within the same year that would just huge boner vibes i'd love that but you know what do you guys think firstly i think gta 6 is always going to be very controversial yeah uh, well gta is always going to be controversial and i think that's what we love about it isn't it their commentary on real life their their lack of fear in terms of calling things out and the bs and look this guy florida joker just a bit of an odd guy isn't he and i think that's what they're doing here they're in florida taking the mic florida's an interesting place i've heard never been but i've heard a lot of uh online and read a lot of comments on youtube saying i've lived in florida my whole life it's a crazy place and this is exactly what it looks like so i think they're really nailing it i can't bloody wait to play it two years it's gonna take forever florida joker a message to you my friend you're deluded if you think you're gonna get away with this get away with it you're not doing anything but you know what i mean if you think you're gonna get anything out of this what you need to do is jump on this bandwagon make you cash prizes make your appearances on stage call yourself gta 6 joker or whatever make a bit of cash mate instead of going after rockstar you should have been on their side everyone loves rockstar they're literally like a cult following and you know sadly i'm a part of it man i cannot wait the next grand theft auto i cannot wait to have lucia go get changed get a new outfit do my nails get a haircut i can't wait to kill jason at the end of it or snitch on him or something you know it's gonna be great i cannot wait for it but yeah thank you so much we're gonna be back on the bandwagon two videos a day one video a day however many i can squeeze out my little face we're gonna be doing so jump on the bandwagon like subscribe whatever you want boys but most importantly i hope you enjoyed this video thank you